please discuss a little further what the security needs or ongoing threats are to artists who do perform in Israel, ignoring the boycott threats? And I'm not specifically talking of the highest echelon performers. They have their security staffs with them and afterwards. <laughs> well, I, I don't include myself in the, in oh, the upper so echelon. I'm, I'm very pleased. And I, but I will say that I'm very pleased that I'm going to Israel first and then to Holland. <laughs> so, um, you know. It, I wonder. I don't know. Well, uh, we, we've we've never had any public uh, demonstration or anything like that uh, in in the course of our business, but uh, but uh, I, 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 oh, I can speak to that. You described some earlier, right? So. Um, in, in fact, most of the intimidation, almost all of the intimidation, occurs before the artist gets to Israel. Uh, and yes, you're correct that artists who can afford and require large security anywhere in the world also hire their own in Israel. Uh, Israel is actually, uh, in, in that measure, a relatively safe place. And we've all seen, you know, violence at concerts in, in Manchester and other places in the world. And, but they, so most of the time when they when they bow or, or they get scared, it's beforehand and it's because of the vitriol and the venom in which um, uh, the conversation happens, particularly on social media, but also in petitions and emails. And it creates fear in the artists and they actually worry about their physical safety, but no one's ever been harmed uh, when, when they were there, thank We're going there next weekend, so. Uh... Um, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen pretty soon. But, uh, no, I, 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 I'm not fearful of that, I have to say. Uh, it seems like several years ago, the BDS movement was having greater success convincing artists not to come to Israel. However, in the last few years, it seems like the tide has turned. Was there a, a tipping point or an inciting incident that helped tip artists to be, feel more comfortable to go to Israel? Well, I, I can tell you what happened was actually uh, much more an illusion than fact. There was certainly a huge sp spike in 2010. The uh, cultural boycott was officially launched in like 2005. There was a spike in 2010 that really surrounded the Turkish flotilla incident. And there were several things going on in Israel. There was a film festival, there was music festivals, and given the tension, legitimately, I mean, there was huge tension between Israel and Turkey, the artists were very concerned about their safety. And uh, there was much hay made of it, and many artists were, uh, uh, you know, reported as canceling who had actually never scheduled. And yes, and, and there was definitely has been a huge, huge turn, because when it first happened, the people who support the campaign had the advantage of surprise. Every artist who was targeted was shocked. It was brand new. They, they, they make very soft targets because they're human beings, they're people. And now what's happened is that this campaign has done themselves, uh, uh, they've shot themselves in the foot in some ways because they've normalized their activities. It's now become de rigueur. You go to Israel, you get targeted, afterwards uh, they move on to the next victim. There, the, I should say, the, the music industry mobilized very quickly. David Renzer, uh, who runs a publishing company, is very active uh, and has maybe a hundred executives from the business who are very well organized in terms of ensuring that artists are encouraged not to take the, the kind of vitriol that you've referred to um, seriously. The other thing is, is on the soda stream, Thing. I don't know, you know, Sc Scarlett Johansson identifies as Jewish and the people that targeted her didn't realize that. And so that, that campaign against her kind of backfired. Oops. Because she stepped, she stepped up immediately and said, it's an endorsement deal, I like the product, like, what are, like what's going on? Right? And she had no problem defending the campaign and her association. And, and, and I'm very, very proud to have uh, been the premier director of that organization and to have worked actually very closely with Scarlett's um, um, 
uh, PR person on that. But yeah, and, and that's what it takes. And people have become, really, with the support of people like the people on this panel, as more people speak out, as more people take a stand, um, it becomes easier. And, and, and artists are, are less e easily intimidated. The, the, I think an interesting point is that I mentioned earlier that, that it is in a minority. Um, you two, uh, Elvis Costello, I believe, um, Roger, of course. Um, you two's but, but manager is Israeli. Just, just you two is what? You two's manager is Israeli. He's Israeli. Guy. Oh. But, but Bono, uh, Bono invests in Israel. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I think pe people look at these these few artists say, well, they're weird. Why, 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 are they, why won't they play in Israel? Um, just making that point. That, uh, I'm a filmmaker. It is a minority, and they, they are, I think, the public at large look at them and say, well, what's, what's their problem? You know? Okay, should we take um, 